Hi guys, Artie here. I don't normally make videos like this, but they, I have an important announcement regarding my channel that I figured I needed to let you guys know about. Now, I because I'm not recording a game footage right now and because I don't haven't really written a script for this, I'm probably going to be rambling a good bit. I have a lot to get off my chest right now. So forgive me if this is long-winded and I jump around subject to subject a lot, but... Uh, I guess I'll just start with the official announcement that I have. It's something that I've been mulling over for a while, and I think I finally just made a concrete decision. I'm going to start slowly moving away from Let's Playing. Now, that's, that sounds like a bit of a big deal and a bit of a shock, but hear me out. This is not a goodbye video. This is not a farewell video. This is not even a video saying I'm never going to make a Let's Play again. Not at all. I, I mean, right now, uh... I have three Let's Plays that Marty and I have done completely recorded and mostly completely edited, on top of which Marty and I are recording another Let's Play together right now, and I'm recording a solo Let's Play right now, so there are still five Let's Plays that are guaranteed going to come to my channel, on top of which there are definitely Let's Plays that I still want to keep doing, like Freddy Fish 5 I know people have been looking forward to. I promise you I will do that one. In fact, that might be the one I do right after... I finish uploading Ghost Trick. Spy Fox Free is also absolutely going to come, so don't worry about any of that. And there are a couple of other games that I am interested in Let's Play, in, which will happen as well. So this, there is still a good amount of Let's Play content that you can expect from me. This is not me saying Ghost Trick is going to be the last Let's Play I do. That's not the case at all. However, I figured this was important to note in that, specifically, I'm going to keep the number of new Let's Plays that I start recording to a minimum. And there are a couple of reasons why. So, I guess first I'll start with just why I started Let's Playing to begin with. It was something, I started Let's Playing over five years ago, which, wow, that seems weird to, to say. But yeah, it was in 2019 that I, was it 20, wait, no, it wasn't 29, no, that's wrong. Already, that, that year is completely wrong. It was 2015 that I started Let's Playing. Or no, no, it was 2016. I, no, it was 2016, I believe. Wow, you can tell just how much I know about my own channel. It, I was 19 years old when I started Let's Play. I was in college, and I figured it was something that it had interested me. I had seen Let's Plays. I wanted to try it myself, and I really enjoyed doing it. There were tons of games that I loved Let's Playing, and it's definitely helped me come out of my shell a bit, made me much less shy, which was great. It's had a great impact on me, and I've met a lot of awesome people through Let's Playing and different online communities that I would not have met without this. So I don't re regret Let's Playing at all. In fact, I've very much enjoyed it. But the reason that I'm coming to this decision is that over the years, I've enjoyed Let's Playing less and less. And I'm now at the point where recording Let's Plays, I'm not going to say it's like a chore or anything. It definitely is not a chore and it's still fun, but the amount of fun that I have recording Let's Plays has decreased quite a bit over the years. And I'm also now at the point where, when I first started Let's Playing, I, there was just so many games that I really wanted to Let's Play, and at this point, I've done pretty much all of them. At this point, it's... I've never had to think about what to Let's Play next. Let me, let me put it that way. I've always had just a huge list of being like, oh my gosh, I want to play this, and I want to play this, and I want to play this, and I want to play this... But now I'm at the point where I'm struggling to think of new games that I actually want to Let's Play. And that, that was kind of a bit of a giveaway for me, where I was thinking, like, oh, well, what, what do I do after Ghost Trick? And I'm like, I actually don't really know. There's not much left. Which was interesting, and it made me think a little bit about this, and partially come to this conclusion. It's especially apparent with one of the new Let's Plays that I'm recording solo, where... I'm at the point in the game where, even though I love the game, it's one of my favorite games of all time, just making myself go and record it, if it seems it's a lot harder than you might think. And it's actually been a couple of weeks since I last recorded it, and it's one of the reasons why now I generally record Let's Plays very far in advance, just so I can keep a consistent upload schedule and I'm not pressured to keep recording new episodes as I go on. The other main reason that I've decided to start moving away from Let's Playing is just because I enjoy streaming more. I'll be, I'll be honest. So, 
I've been streaming on and off for a couple of years now. Not not as long as I've been Let's Playing, but it, it was, I think, around a year after I started Let's Playing, maybe a little more, that I actually started streaming. And I originally was live streaming to, I think, YouTube? Or I've, I've, I've bounced back and forth between YouTube and Twitch, but I've decided on Twitch for, for at least the time being. Um, yeah, for streaming, I did that on and off. It was I had no consistent stream schedule. I, re I originally started streaming just for recording custom lemmings levels that people had made and it was something that round the wheel had done and then he stopped doing so i and people were kind of disappointed so i picked up the slack and basically replaced those streams for him and that was fun for a while but as anybody who watched my final episode of lemmings world tour knows that i've been moving away from lemming i my interest in lemmings has dwindled over the years for sure and now it's to the point where i'm not going to say i don't enjoy it but I enjoy other games so much more at this point. I, maybe I burned myself out on Lemmings, but it'll always have a special place in my heart, but I don't see myself creating new Lemmings-related YouTube or Twitch content for a good long while, if not ever. I'm not going to say never. I'm not going to say never, but I have no interest in doing it as of right now, and I don't see that changing much anytime soon. But that's how I started streaming. It was very much on and off. I eventually started streaming other one-off games, and particularly I started getting into Zelda randomizers, which I really enjoy that, but streaming was extremely secondary to Let's Playing for me at that point, and I didn't actually seriously start streaming until 2020, when, you know what, the Mario Sunshine Final Mountain Virus hit, and everyone kind of was stuck in their houses, because nobody wanted to go out. So at that point, if I was being trapped in my house for a while... I figured I needed to do something, and that was kind of at the point where I started being like, the number of new Let's Plays that I want to make are dwindling, and that's when I started streaming more consistently, and the first game I started streaming with a very consistent schedule was Clannad. I really, really enjoyed playing that. That was Playing Clannad once a week was one of the highlights of 2020 for me, at least during the part where I was playing it. It was a great game, really enjoyed it. That was also the part where I was starting to get a bitter Twitch chat. Or in the past, if I had streamed Zelda randomizers, I'd get like maybe one person in chat, maybe two, which nothing against that, but it helps to have chat interaction and it makes streaming a lot more fun. And that's one of that's probably the main reason why I enjoy streaming over Let's Playing is that you can interact with people as you do it. And I think that adds so much more to j not just the streaming experience, but the watching experience as well. Uh, where what was what was I talking about just before that? I, I told you, I'm going to ramble a, a, a good bit. But yeah, Clannad is where I started getting more people in Twitch chat, more people interested in the game, and more people interested in my content. And that was really fun to play. I started, and then at that point, I started streaming like at least once a week. And then eventually, I started doing those bas backyard baseball streams. That was kind of the tipping point for me. And I got quite a few people interested in those. Those are always amazingly fun to play. And again, one of the highlights of my week. And I just. That was the point I realized I enjoy streaming so much more than I enjoy Let's Playing right now. And it's not just because of the chat interaction. There's also a bit of a selfish component. The, um, I always, well, not always, but I pretty much always upload my stream VODs to YouTube. Those are way easier to edit than Let's Plays are. It takes way less time to port those to YouTube than it takes for me to record a video and then edit it and then move it to YouTube. Because when I when I record Let's Plays, I record my... I record the game audio and the game, like, visuals, like the game footage with OBS, but then I use Audacity to record my commentary, and I do that so I can kind of remove the background noise, and, but that also makes editing a bit of a pain, because I need to make sure it lines up, especially if I'm using my Blue Yeti microphone, which picks up the game audio anyways, I need to make sure it lines up, otherwise the music will have slight desync, which is kind of noticeable, I bet, you, I bet people have noticed it from some of my videos. So, with the exception of backyard, the back, that backyard baseball streams where, at least for my season two, I edited those, and those actually took a good while, and that's why there was always a delay in uploading those. But for all my ever streams, like my randomizer and my visual novel recordings, I literally just I cut out the beginning where I'm like have my stream waiting for uh, screen, and I cut off the very end, and that's it. I keep all the rest. I don't have to do any editing. It's super, super easy. And very fast. So I can make a lot of content if I stream. It's, I can generally make it faster. And it takes up way less of my time. And that's kind of another reason where I want to do more with my life than just making videos and streaming. And I feel like 
for 2020, I didn't mind it so much where I spent a lot of my 2020 just either recording Let's Play stuff or mainly streaming or editing Let's Plays. But I'm at the... And I didn't really mind that because, I mean, what else was I really going to do? I There was very little I could leave my house for just because even if I want to socialize, so many of my friends did not want to. And now that things are starting, restrictions are being lifted, my state took way longer than, like, every other state. Not quite, but... My st I'm in Michigan, which was one of the slowest to recover from all this. But now that even now that things are starting finally to go back to a sense of normalcy, I want to spend more time going out and meeting people in real life and doing things in real life other than just streaming and recording all the time. And again, there's nothing wrong with having online friends. I, I love my online friends. They are great, and I love playing games with them, I like talking with them, but it's not the same as having friends in real life that you can, like, sit with in the same room and talk to them and see their face, and it's completely different, you know? I can become so much better friends with people who I'm friends with in real life compared to online, and I, I don't want to just keep being sealed in my, my house forever, so... I want to start moving away from that and maybe moving towards doing more things in real life, meeting more people, I mean... I don't want to remain single forever, so <laughs> that might have something to do with it, potentially. Another thing that uh, has been kind of weighing on my mind for a while, and that's also potentially playing a part in this, is I've, I've debated for a while now making a very different kind of video, where I, I'm debating making videos where I'm talking about more serious topics like my, my faith, uh, the Bible... Because I think pretty much everybody who watches me knows I am a Christian. When I say God bless at the end of every video, that's not just a saying. I'm truly wishing for God to bless you. And I'm very passionate about my faith. And I would like to share it with people. I would like to make more serious videos like that. Hopefully helping people or just even explaining why I believe what I believe. I feel like more people need to know about that. I haven't really talked about it during my streams or my Let's Plays. And the reason for that is I believe that there's a time and a place to talk about it, and me talking about me talking about the Book of Esther while I'm playing through like Frogger, that's not really the best place to do it, you know. <laughs> like, if people want to learn about a specific Bible topic, they shouldn't have to go to Colorful Artie's Let's Play of Spy Fox Three Operation Ozone Episode Three in order to find it, you know. Like. <laughs> when I watch people's content, I'm watching it because I like the game and I like the person, not necessarily to learn about their personal beliefs, you know? So I figured this is something that I've kind of been wondering for a while, and I might be interested in making different videos like that. If so, I would make a separate channel for that. I'd probably actually show my face and probably use my real name. <laughs> Spoiler alert, my real name is not Artie. It's also not Arthur. But that's another thing that, if I did that, that would probably take time away from Let's Playing in general. So, yeah, have I covered pretty much everything? Just about. So, for those of you looking for the summary, the too long didn't watch the whole thing, I get that. Um, so, Let's Plays for me, the number of new Let's Plays I record is going to be kept to a minimum. I am still going to record some new Let's Plays, and I do still have a backlog of Let's Plays that I want to uh, upload. For sure, so you're still going to get regular Let's Play content from Colorful Artie for at least another year. I promise you that. <laughs> and for those of you who are wondering, yes, the Humongous Entertainment Let's Plays, they are definitely coming. They're coming soon. Freddy Fish 5, I've decided it will be the next thing I upload after Ghost Trick is finished. And Ghost Trick is not a very long Let's Play. It will be finished uploading in a couple of weeks. Spy Fox Free will definitely come. There might be one or two other small games that I wanted to upload. But I think for most of the future, most of the Let's Play content you can expect to see from me are co-op Let's Plays with me and my sister Marty. And that's because me and my sister Marty can't stream together, really. I mean, technically we could, but we don't. So any content that me and Marty make, that will be Let's Play content. And I think a lot of it is going to be Ace Attorney content. Because, spoiler alert, we have finished recording three more Ace Attorney games that we are going to upload. And we're in the middle of recording another one. So... We're gonna, we, we, we love recording those. Marty and I have a blast recording those, and if literally nobody watches it, I don't care. We have so much fun making those, so we're gonna keep making those. <laughs> but as for 
potential Let's Plays. So, for, exa for example, all of you who remember way back all those years ago, after I when I Let's Played Diddy Colin Racing, man, that seems like an eternity ago. When I Let's Played that, I mentioned, like, okay, I, I that was like a freeway tie where I'm like, should I Let's Play Diddy Colin Racing? Should I Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie? Or should I Let's Play Yoshi's Island? And I think I, I may have even pulled people. And ultimately, Diddy Colin Racing came out on top, and I'm like, don't worry, I'll make sure I Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie and Yoshi's Island in the future. Took years later, but then I finally recorded Banjo Kazooie, and I still have not let's play Yoshi's Island. So what I'm thinking is I might still play like Yoshi's Island, but if so, I will probably do that as a stream. A lot of these games where I'm like I I should play that will probably be streams from here on out. The only really t the only real times that I might make new let's plays at this point if there, is if there's something that requires a lot of grinding or just has a lot of boring parts that I would ideally like to cut out of the YouTube vod. Because if there's just a couple boring parts, I can stream those, and we can always just interact with Twitch chat while they're happening. But if there's a game like, say, a new Kingdom Hearts game, where there's quite a lot of grinding for synthesis materials and just for levels, I will probably keep doing those as Let's Plays. I Like, realistically, just because if I, I like doing 100% playthroughs of those, and nobody really wants to watch me just spend hours grinding for things. I like doing that off-camera, so... Any Let's Plays to do in the future will either be co-ops with me and Marty, which will pretty much entirely be Ace Attorney videos, but also potentially one-offs as well. Or it will be games that I feel like would work better as Let's Plays rather than streaming. Otherwise, expect most of my content from now on. Most of my new content that I'm going out of my way to record to be streams, and that's kind of the direction that I'm heading in. Again, it's not a goodbye video. I'm not going anywhere. I will still be active on YouTube. I will still be active on Twitch. I have a Discord as well that I'm, I try to be active on as well. It's still pretty small, but if people are interested in joining my Discord, I'll have the link in the description. You can also find the link in my Twitch About page. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much all that I wanted to say. Thank you all for listening. I'm sorry if this was a little rambly and a little long-winded, and I... Again, I'll, maybe I'll post like a too long didn't read in the comments <laughs> section. But yeah, so if you guys have any strong opinions on these announcements, please let me know in the comment section. If you're somebody who really enjoys my Let's Plays, but you don't enjoy my streams or my stream VODs, please let me know. Because I, I am curious to know, and let me know why you enjoy those. Because maybe there's something I'm overlooking that I do in my Let's Plays that I don't do in my streams that people tend to overlook. If you think this is a good idea, then let me know. If you're, if you're potentially interested in my Bible videos, let me know too. <laughs> you know, any, any comments that you guys have, just let me know. And I, I, I one final thing I want to say, I've been truly blessed to have such a great audience. I, I'm still a small time streamer, which I think that streamer, I'm still a small time content creator, which I still have almost 600 subscribers at this point, which blows my mind. I never thought I'd reach triple digits, let alone this many. You guys are awesome, and seriously, the number of comments that I've got that are kind and, like, entertaining and just very, very supportive have been amazing. I've gotten almost no bad comments, which is astonishing to me, and I think that's mostly because the people who leave bad comments aren't looking, aren't finding my videos. <laughs> I've only gotten, like, one or two which have been negative, and I'm literally just like, well, what you gonna do? You can't please every, everybody. But I have gotten... I have gotten some really nice comments that have just meant so much to me, and I get, yeah, I guess one last thing is, I, f I feel like Let's Play at this point for me is just kind of stagnating my life a bit, and I feel like I'm called to help people more and do more to actually make a difference in the world rather than just making entertaining content. I'm still going to try to make entertaining content, but at this point I feel like Let's Play is... Not time wasted, but time better spent elsewhere for the most part. And I have gotten a couple of comments from people saying, like, hey, your videos have really helped me when I'm in a bad part of my life, which that has meant more to me than you can imagine, truly. Because that, that's made me real. This is that's taken my Let's Play into from just this is something I do for fun, which is how I started doing it, to this is something that's actually helping people, which is great. But I feel like my, I can help people better in other ways. Wow! Even I even got distracted in the two in the summary section. <laughs> Anyhow, I'm I'm rambling. I need to stop now. Thank you all for watching. You guys are amazing. I hope to continue hearing from you guys in the future. And again, I'm not going anywhere. I the colorful Artie is not leaving YouTube. That's not happening. He, he's he's sticking around. But 
it's just this is these are the plans that I'm making for the future, and I just wanted to let you guys know. So, thanks for watching, everybody. Hope to see you again in the future, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.